Let's try this again. Blooper. I'm finally getting around to filming my day piercing. You can't see mine because mine is actually in my ear. Um, if you guys don't know, I recently had my days in my industrial done. It's been almost two months now. Give or take like two weeks, it'll be two months, and then I'll be able to change them out if I want to. I don't know if I'm going to change my day jewelry, but I'm definitely going to change my um, industrial. Now, if you see me looking down, I have some pros and cons written down for you. The only con, if you get a curved barbell that didn't originally come to my mind was it gets covered and I mean covered in earwax oh. yes I got my old phone back so I'm stuck with a bad android I'm not an Android person. No, thank you. It looks like the only one I've got is this one. If you guys are squeamish, look away because I'm gonna show you what I mean. Um, look away now. Okay, you can look back. Um, yeah, that's what I need. Um, this is after cleaning it off. You don't have to look away. You can't really see airwax. You can see like a couple bumps, but I don't think you can really see it at all. This is what it looked like after I cleaned it. <laughs> Sorry, my screen is cracked all shit, so. Um, and then I decided to push. I literally will just take my finger and push it up. If I start getting headaches, which is pretty much on a regular daily basis, or it was. Um. the man that I'm currently with, um, found this goo thing, but it wasn't goo, it was like solid, it was weird. Once again, if you're squeamish, look away. That's what he pulled out of my ear. Yuck. Yes, my screen is cracked. Oh. I don't know what's going to be the best angle for you guys to see it. There you go. You can kind of see it there. Anyway, iPhone 4S. They don't actually make these anymore. And that still works. Anyway. Pros to getting it. Um, let me clarify one thing before... I go on with this. Uh, you guys know this if you've been with me for a while. If you don't, I have hip dysplasia and bad knees. Okay. Apparently, I've got such a severe case of hip dysplasia that I've been told by a doctor I should have the body of an 80 year old woman because that's what my joints look like. If that says anything. Anyway. Um, now, we have that cleared up. I'm looking over here at my notes, by the way. <laughs> um, pros. No migraines. Check. Um, no more pain in my legs. It would get to the point... I was curled up in a ball crying. I had a doctor tell me that was a nine. 
Anyway, I used to massively grind my teeth. I no longer do that. And in my house, I'm okay. But if I go out, I can have bad anxiety attacks. And it got to the point where I didn't want to leave my house at one point. Just being honest. Uh, no more anxiety attacks. A little bit of panic, but that's okay. I can deal. I can deal. But yes, um, the healing process has been pretty good. It's been pretty easy. When I first got it done, you hear like a pop. And yeah, that's pretty much it. But the lady who did it for me asked me if I was, hello there, shoulder, how are you doing? <laughs> asked me if I was doing it for migraines. And I was honest, and I said yes, and that's how it went down. Now, you guys may not know, but I did my industrial and my day in one visit. Yellow nails. Yellow coffin nails. I love them. Um. Yeah. I was trying to find a video on just the pros and cons of a date piercing uh, for medical all purposes, I guess. Um, and wasn't finding it, so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna make my own. I love you. I hope you guys are having a good day. Bye.